OpenAI just announced a five-level roadmap to HEI, with a specific target date, March 2028 for level four, an AI capable of autonomous scientific discovery and independent innovation. That's three years and four months from now. Meanwhile, the company is restructuring from a non-profit research lab into a for-profit super company, targeting a $1 trillion valuation and an IPO by 2027. But here's the problem. The OpenAI Foundation is tasked with safety oversight while simultaneously holding a $130 billion equity stake in the commercial entity it's supposed to regulate. That's a massive conflict of interest. In the next seven minutes, I'm breaking down OpenAI's complete strategic overhaul, the new dual corporate structure, splitting them into a nonprofit foundation and for-profit group, the detailed five-level AGI roadmap with concrete timelines showing AI researchers by September 2026 and autonomous innovation by March 2028, the $1.5 trillion infrastructure investment to build 30 gigawatts of data center capacity, and the vision to transform ChatGPT from a chatbot into a persistent digital companion and foundational AI cloud platform. This is the most ambitious plan in AI history, with a governance structure that creates serious ethical questions. Let's start with the corporate transformation. OpenAI is fundamentally restructuring from its original nonprofit research organization into a dual entity system designed to unlock massive capital and pursue an IPO by 2027 with a target valuation of $1 trillion. The organization is now split into two main entities, the OpenAI Foundation, which remains nonprofit and handles safety, governance, and auditing while controlling the board of directors, and the OpenAI Group, which is the new for-profit entity responsible for all commercial activities, product development, and revenue generation. Previous OpenAI structure, nonprofit with a capped profit subsidiary, Microsoft and investors had returns limited to a multiple of their investment. Sam Altman held no equity. The structure prioritized mission over profit, at least nominally. The new OpenAI structure, the for-profit OpenAI group becomes the dominant entity housing all commercial operations. Equity distribution is as follows. Microsoft holds 27%, valued at approximately $135 billion, reduced from around 30% but retaining intellectual property rights until 2032, even if AGI is achieved. That IP clause is significant. The OpenAI Foundation holds 26%, valued at $130 billion. It controls the board and has rights to acquire additional shares if valuation hits $5 trillion. Employees collectively hold 26%, representing significant ownership for the company's staff. SoftBank and new investors hold 15%, approximately $75 billion. 2024 investors hold 4%, around $20 billion. Sam Altman's personal stake, 0% officially. Here's the governance paradox. The OpenAI Foundation is responsible for safety oversight, governance, and ensuring responsible AI development, but it also owns 26% of the for-profit entity, worth $130 billion. The regulator directly financially benefits from the commercial success and profitability of the company it's supposed to regulate. This creates a fundamental conflict of interest. Will the foundation prioritize its safety mission when aggressive commercial decisions could increase the value of its $130 billion stake? The foundation says its profits will be invested in areas like health technology, but the structural tension remains unresolved. For OpenAI, this restructuring unlocks the capital necessary to compete at scale with Microsoft, Google, and other tech giants pursuing AGI. The IPO pathway by 2027 provides liquidity for investors and employees. For AI safety, this creates worrying incentives. When the safety overseer owns $130 billion in the company it regulates, there's inherent pressure to prioritize growth and valuation over caution. This isn't theoretical. It's a structural design that bakes in conflicting incentives. For the AI industry, OpenAI is setting the template that other AI labs may follow. Start as mission-driven nonprofit, restructure to for-profit once you achieve market position and need massive capital. Anthropic, for example, has similar dynamics with its PBC structure and massive funding rounds. 
I think this government structure will face serious scrutiny, possibly regulatory intervention within 18 months. The $130 billion conflict of interest is too obvious and too large for governments developing AI oversight frameworks to ignore. Expect pressure to either divest the foundation's commercial stake or create truly independent safety oversight. The IPO by 2027 timeline might slip if regulatory approval becomes complicated. In a recent Q&A, Sam Altman and OpenAI's chief researcher Jacob unveiled a detailed five-stage roadmap to AGI with specific target dates for near-term levels. This is the first time OpenAI has provided concrete timelines publicly, and the dates are far more aggressive than most industry estimates. March 2028 for autonomous AI researchers capable of independent scientific discovery means we're looking at roughly three years. Level 1. Chatbots. AI that can converse in any language. Status achieved. This is where we are now with GPT-4 and ChatGPT. Level 2. Reasoning. Human-level problem-solving capabilities. Status largely achieved. Current models solve complex problems from math and physics olympiads that previously required expert human reasoning. Level 3. Agents. AI systems that can take actions and execute tasks in digital or physical environments. Status, currently in design and development. These action-oriented AIs are a major focus for 2025, but haven't reached full functionality. This is the current frontier. Level 4. Innovation. AI becomes capable of independent innovation and autonomous scientific discovery. Target date, March 2028. The goal is fully autonomous AI researchers that can conduct original scientific work without human direction. Level 5. AGI. Fully realized artificial general intelligence, where AI systems can manage and operate entire organizational processes independently and profitably. Status, Timeline not specified, but logically follows level 4 achievement. Key milestones along the way? September 2026, AI assistant capable of performing research at an intern level. March 2028, fully autonomous AI capable of independent scientific discovery. Open AI's timeline, level 4 innovation in approximately 3 years. Andre Karpathy, former OpenAI researcher, has stated that fully realizing even level 3 agents could take another 10 years. Mustafa Suleimani, DeepMind co-founder, describes AI advancement as a gradual wave that will be felt across all sectors over time rather than discrete level jumps. The spread in these estimates is enormous. 3 years versus 10 years for roughly the same capabilities. OpenAI's aggressive timeline assumes continuous breakthrough progress. Carpathy's timeline assumes harder problems than expected. The truth is probably somewhere in between. If OpenAI hits the March 2028 target for autonomous AI researchers, the pace of scientific discovery accelerates exponentially. An AI that can formulate hypotheses, design experiments, analyze results and publish findings autonomously multiplies research capacity by potentially thousands of times. For knowledge work, level 4 represents the threshold where AI doesn't just assist research, it conducts research. That's a fundamentally different economic and social reality. The risk is that OpenAI is setting expectations they can't meet, creating another AI hype cycle followed by a crash when 2028 arrives and level 4 hasn't materialized. I think OpenAI will achieve something impressive by March 2028, but it won't meet their full definition of level 4. They'll have AI that can conduct narrow scientific research with significant human oversight, not fully autonomous innovation. The real autonomous researchers come 2030, 2032, not 2028, but even partial success accelerates the timeline dramatically. To support the AGI roadmap, OpenAI is planning infrastructure investment on a scale that's difficult to comprehend. They're committing $1.5 trillion to data center investments by 2029, with a goal of building 30 gigawatts of capacity. For context, that's roughly equivalent to 30 large nuclear power plants worth of computing infrastructure dedicated entirely to AI. Total investment by 2029, $115 billion in direct spending. Data center commitment, $1.5 trillion by 2029 for 30 gigawatts of capacity. The vision includes 
AI infrastructure factories capable of producing one gigawatt of computing power per week. This implies using AI systems to design and build the hardware infrastructure for next-generation AI, essentially AI building AI infrastructure. This isn't just scaling up existing data centers. This is creating an entirely new category of industrial capacity focused on AI compute. The 30 gigawatts target by 2029 would make OpenAI one of the largest infrastructure owners globally, rivaling major utilities and cloud providers. The capital requirements explain the for-profit restructuring. You can't raise $1.5 trillion in capital markets as a nonprofit with capped returns. You need unlimited upside to justify that scale of investment. Beyond infrastructure, OpenAI is reimagining ChatGPT's role. The goal is to transform it from a chatbot into a foundational AI cloud platform, essentially the operating system layer for AI applications, similar to how Windows or iOS functions for traditional computing. Key evolution points, user freedom, customization, and personalization become core features. Adult mode with age verification removes content limitations for verified adults. The long-term vision, ChatGPT evolves from a query answering tool into a persistent digital companion that continuously lives with and learns from the user. This is AI as a constant presence, not a tool you occasionally access. This companion framing represents a fundamental shift in human AI interaction. We're moving from transactional, that's answer my question, to relational, be part of my life. For users, the digital companion model is either incredibly valuable or deeply concerning, depending on your perspective on AI integration in daily life. A persistent AI that knows everything about you can be maximally helpful or maximally invasive. For the AI industry, if OpenAI successfully positions ChatGPT as the foundational AI cloud platform, they capture the platform layer, the most valuable position in any technology stack. That's the $1 trillion valuation thesis. I think the infrastructure investment is real and necessary. The digital companion vision is more speculative and faces significant user acceptance barriers. Not everyone wants a persistent AI observing their life continuously. OpenAI has outlined a three-pronged strategy addressing AI safety and resilience. One, accelerate scientific discovery to achieve AGI capabilities. Two, build a secure and customizable platform, creating a safe, personalized AI for all users. Three, construct a massive infrastructure network required to support this vision. They've identified the most critical risk domains as mental health, biological threats, and job loss. The OpenAI Foundation has pledged $25 billion toward building what they call a defensive ecosystem, capable of rapid response when AI systems fail or are misused. This framing is notable. AI resilience expands beyond model security to encompass the entire platform ecosystem. The goal is rapid response to failures, not just prevention. The critical question this raises, is $25 billion in safety investment sufficient when you're spending $1.5 trillion on capability development? That's a 60 to 1 ratio of capability investment to safety investment. The incentives are clear. Here's my take. OpenAI's roadmap is the most ambitious in AI history, and the March 2028 timeline for autonomous researchers is probably two to three years too aggressive. But even if they're off by several years, we're still looking at transformative AI capabilities within this decade. The governance structure with the $130 billion conflict of interest is fundamentally flawed and will face regulatory pressure. The infrastructure investment is real and necessary, but the digital companion vision faces user acceptance questions. The deeper question this raises, do we want this future? An AI that conducts autonomous research, makes independent innovations, and functions as a persistent digital companion integrated into every aspect of human life. OpenAI is building toward that vision, regardless of whether society has decided it wants it. 
Speaking of AGI timelines, there's a competing vision from Anthropic about constitutional AI and spaled oversight that takes a fundamentally different approach to safety. I'm covering that next week because it represents the alternative path. If this breakdown was valuable, hit that like button. Subscribe for weekly AI industry analysis. I'm dropping two to three videos every week covering developments that actually matter. Do you think March 2028 for autonomous AI researchers is realistic? Drop your prediction in the comments.